tri-state forecast that's independently certified most accurate. Here's Chief Meteorologist Kevin Robinson. I wonder if they could do any better at the forecast. Maybe they could help us out with that too here. Let's talk about the headlines because it looks like we're going to see a roller coaster of a weekend in terms of temperatures, not so as much in the weather department, but really in terms of how it feels outside over the upcoming weekend. So here they are. Spring begins today. That's right. This evening will make the first day of spring for us here in the tri state. And that's going to come in with a very nice Saturday behind it with mild and breezy conditions for Saturday. But then the temperatures begin to tank as we head into Sunday. It looks like we are going to turn chilly or at least much cooler for us to close out the weekend around here in the tri-state. That being said, this evening doesn't look bad, but it's not a pretty one either. 40s are where we will hang throughout the evening hours. Underneath gloomy skies, I expect clouds to linger pretty much throughout the evening hours and really through the first half of the night for us here in the tri-state. You can see the milky gray on the map. We are just socked in with the cloud cover. Now, look to our west and you can see how the cloud cover is slowly beginning to decrease from west to east, but the clearing line Line is just now entering west central Illinois, so we've still got a good four or five, maybe even up to six solid hours of cloud cover to deal with. Here's that storm system. This is the one that brought the rain this morning, now pushing away and bringing snow to folks in the northeast. Just as that system is getting out of here, however, we are turning our attention up to a cold front. And this is the cold front that will race in the direction of the Ohio Valley and bring cooler weather for Saturday night and Sunday. So 48 degrees right now at the airport. That's where we're sitting with a northwest breeze at 7 at this time. Power of 5 Live Radio is on a clean sweep. There's no more rain in the forecast as we go through the upcoming weekend. Temperatures across the area. Cool for this time of the year. Most areas in the 40s, but that's simply a byproduct of the cloudy conditions we've had pretty much all day. So temperatures, once skies clear tonight, will fall back into the upper 30s to right around 40. Here's a look at future casts, and you'll gradually see that clearing line get in here. Very late tonight after midnight, I think we start clearing out from west to east. When you wake up in the morning, expect partly cloudy skies. There still could be some clouds lingering farther east first thing in the morning, but we should all see a nice amount of sunshine. Tomorrow. Tomorrow looks very, very nice. It reminds me a lot of last Saturday here in the tri state with mild temperatures and breezy conditions and plenty of sunshine. However, once the sun sets tomorrow evening, temperatures will fall off very quickly with a pretty stiff north wind that will kick up during the evening. That's the only way you'll know the cold front's coming through, other than a few clouds, because there won't be any rain with it. But temperatures will be chilly Sunday morning, and temperatures on Sunday will be about a wholesale 10 to 15 degrees colder than they will be tomorrow. So tonight, 38 for an overnight low as we clear out the skies late tonight, mainly after midnight. And then tomorrow, mostly sunny, breezy and mild. A very nice day as we peak out in the low to mid-60s. Here's a look at your day planner. Cool at 38 at 8 a.m., up to 55 at lunchtime. Again, tomorrow morning will be one of those days where it warms up very quick as we climb our way into the low 60s. Here's your seven-day forecast. Down to 34 by Sunday morning, so there's the chill. Only in the low 50s on Sunday, and then next week starts on the cool side, especially for the end of March, with maybe a couple of opportunities for rain in there as well as we go through the middle of the I week. I feel like I should have worn something brighter today to celebrate <laughs> spring, to really welcome it in, but I'm in black and white. <laughs>